Welcome to Studio Chatter. Come on, admit it. You love Fiesta Days too. Woo! <laughs> It's that time of year. Just it's like our that. favorite time of year. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And it, it warmed up just in time, guys. Oh my gosh. It's getting ready. It is. Warm. Yep. It's uh -huh. hot. hot. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's, it's not so even warming up. It peaked. It did. It just went traditional. Yeah. Boom, boom. Just like I that. love tonight when we all walked in and we're all wearing something local. So I think it'd be fun to sh give a shout out to where your outfits from because we didn't plan it but we all no, shop local. We did not. Well you guys said you were wearing Western and I kind of went back and I was like I've kind of worn that before through the years so I ran down to Preloved, okay. one of my favorite spots, yes. and found this new with tags at Preloved. Love. That's you unbelievable because that dress can go right? so many different ways. Right? And it was a little bit more on the pricier end for pre-loved. Okay. But it's it worth still it. had the You're tags. still a discount. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Wow. And shopping local. So that was fun. Love it. Uh-huh. Awesome. Love all the turquoise. And I got a Johnny Cash t shirt there too. Ooh. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll wear that. Maybe next time. <laughs> okay. Okay, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's like a holiday that you just celebrate all month long. You for do. Sure. It's like all July, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. Americana, Western, cowgirl. Yes, so and tell I, us about yours. I think it helps living in Spanish Fort. Mm -hmm. I got this a couple weeks ago at Big Brat. I love it. Mm, so love I it. saw it on the hanger and I thought, oh, I'm sure it's like 60 bucks. It was like $35, I think. Love it. Stace, so it really does look pretty. I actually color. bought it for my daughter. Yeah. And then I'm just borrowing it for this episode. I may really? have bought it for this episode. You know, <laughs> you need to wear it for tough, and, um, tough enough to wear, to wear pink. pink, right? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. it looks really Thanks. cute on you. Yes, you should keep really it. Pairings. <laughs> yep. Natasha, okay. what about you? This is Wrangler Retro from Cal Ranch. <gasps> Wrangler dress. Yes. It's so cute. Oh, thank so you. cute. Love it. Yeah, I actually picked it up last year around fair time. And pulled <laughs> off the tags today. Stop it. You had not. Well, it's I so did. cute. Well, because it, the long sleeves, I thought right? were more like fair time then, but today, I don't know. And now I know why, why cowboys wear long sleeve, because it really does kind of protect you. It from, does from, from the, the sun. skin damage. Mm -hmm. oh, well, and from the sun, you don't get as hot when, like, this is what it's kind true. of burns and makes you hot. If you have, like, a light covering, that's why they wear long pants, long shirts. Yep. Yeah, stay protected. protected. It's, it's a thing. We also need to give a shout out mm -hmm. to okay. Curated Designs. She dropped these cute little wreaths behind me off, and she's going to be selling them at Stone Drug. Yes. Ooh. So if you need a new holiday wreath indoors or outdoors, Love. swing mm -hmm. by Stone Drug and pick one up. I think she said they'll be about $40, mm -hmm. which I can attest. I got new ribbon for my front door wreath mm -hmm. over the weekend. Okay. Came to $24 for some new ribbon yeah. at Joann's. Nice ribbon, yeah. cute ribbon, it's so pricey. So $40, very good. Yeah, and that's darling. You can't really tell, but their gold stars are so cute. Mm -hmm. You need to zoom in. I yeah, told them I might be taking one home. Yeah. I do love them. Well, we haven't visited for a couple weeks. Okay, have what done? have we been doing? Well, we're gonna go to Lake Powell. Rhett had double hernia surgery. Sorry, honey, say oh. that on air. <laughs> He's doing great now, good. but it was a little process, and we didn't know if that would be ideal for him to be down there. So we stayed at home, and because we stayed at home, we were able to go see um, our grandson's tournament down in Mona, in Nephi, is where they oh, usually awesome. have it. Okay. And so it was so cute. He has been working so hard on his craft, and just, you know, trying to get there, trying to make it happen, and this game just paid off for him. And it was just one of those, like, moments that will just stick. Cherish and forever. He made the winning hit, walk off, and all the team Yay. picked him up. None of us have pictures, because we were just... In, in the, the moment, moment. which was kind of fun. Yes. And he was really cute after. I was like, Noxie, how did you, how were you able to just focus? What was going through your head? Were you so nervous? And he said, I was just saying, I'm a good hitter. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> okay, Angie, oh, how old is he? You. He's seven. Oh, he's my a gosh. mature soul. And then oh. he's like, this is a core memory. I'll never forget it. He knows oh. what a core memory <laughs> is. Yes. He's just cute. Everything he hears, it just connects. So that Aww. was really fun. It was a really fun blessing to see in disguise a moment. then, huh? Yep. Uh huh. Aww. Well, and then you and I actually had a moment in Capitol Theater. We did. So I we saw were that. able to attend. Yep, Miss Utah. We, we were able weekend. to support yes. all of these local down oh south gosh. girls. Bo's girlfriend, she did fab. Mm -hmm. I was all new to the world, Natasha. <laughs> you know it well. It's, it's a, a wild lot. world, right? It's a it crazy is. week. 
So um, you also had a, a little participate, right? We had right? Noli, and she was able to be a little miss, so she was able to go on stage. She had a heyday, went to the Barbie Another party. core memory. Another core memory. And she was so cute, blew a kiss, got to like hang and out And how old is Nor Noli? She's six. They really will remember these. They will. Moments. Yeah. yeah. And they were big mm -hmm. moments. Mm -hmm. That was really fun. So I see why Barrett, like why you love Yes. That. Well, it's and Alexis fun. actually won the preliminary um, uh, rookie talent award. That was so, so amazing. Kudos to her. She, that was amazing. I mean, yes. amazing. And right? the fact that we had three young women from Spanish Fort. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And Azure Talbot. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Grace. Right. She's, you know, currently yep. Miss Freedom Festival. So uh -huh. yes. three former yes. Miss Spanish Forks. Yep. Yeah. We're all representing different areas, so that's yep. fun. It was really fun. So what have you been doing this summer? <sighs> what have we been doing? Yes, yeah, so um, we were actually at, at Miss Utah, of course, and then my little guy um, spent some time with Grandma and Grandpa in Nephi, so I finished up his swimming lessons that we started mm -hmm. there. And then um, this week, I've, we've been in soccer mode, so there has been oh, soccer so yes, tournaments. It's yeah, but a hot time for that. They had um, part of the RSL down here um, really? for part of his camp, so he's been at the UVU camp doing all of that. And then, yeah, I've got to hang Is out. Is he with. loving soccer? Oh, he loves it. Yes, he oh. loves it. Yes, and then the gal always, I feel like she's always at the dance studio, so we're um, double, out, try double audition weeks. Oh. Yes, so back to back team auditions and then Nutcracker auditions. So. Nutcracker auditions. So they Already. will start pra practicing this summer. They they will yes they will find out their parts then they will practice and then they will perform in November the which, first week of November yes, usually right which always seems so early right and then yeah. all of a sudden I mean as soon as the rodeos end I feel like we should just start shopping for Christmas actually oh, yeah. I sometimes I do yeah <laughs> oh my gosh so, so wow. yeah, busy and you gosh. Um, we went camping. We took the trailer out at Fairview, oh, and so nice. some of the kids came up, and we went fishing and took the paddleboard out on the lake. Mm -hmm. And this weekend, we're going to go again. I feel like we have three months to just cram mm -hmm. so much mm -hmm. fun into right. our lives. Right, it is. So we are just like back to back, just going, going. That's fun. Just, but I love it. But camping is so fun too. Oh, you get up uh -huh. out of the heat a little bit. I mean, it's still hot, but well, and it's we, just I was different. telling my daughter, I said, this is when you pay a lot of money to go up in the mountains to live like you're poor. Yeah, you do. Uh huh. Because <laughs> you know you're paying for the trailer and the truck and the right. gas and then all the food and you prep and you get uh -huh. up there and it's just uh -huh. sweat. You finally uh -huh. sit down for 30, 48 hours and you're like, all right, let's pack up and go home and clean out the trailer and make it so much work. <laughs> I hate yes. the cleanup. I really do. So worth it. Right, but it is. It's fun. Well. Well, here it's, we go. It's time to get the chatter going. Let's get started. During the hot summer heat of Fiesta Days, the best place to be for a few hours is in the city of Bikini Bottom with our friends from the SpongeBob musical. Welcome Gray Randall, Caden Renz, and Nicole Ort Ortiz to the table. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. 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 Let's get the name straight. So we know you're Nicole. Mm -hmm. Sandy Cheeks. Yep, Sandy right. Cheeks. Okay. I'm Caden. I'm playing Patrick Star. Okay. Of course and then you I'm, are. I'm Gray, and I'm playing SpongeBob SquarePants. Yay! Fan. Oh, oh my fun. goodness. Yeah. So this. Go oh. ahead. <laughs> <laughs> this is a community theater. So mm -hmm. do any of you live here locally? I do. I live. Uh, yeah, I live in Spanish Fork. I have pretty much my whole life. Okay. So yeah. Graduated from here. I graduated from Maple Mountain. Okay. So yeah. All right. And Nicole? <laughs> I'm originally from San Diego, but um, my husband and I and our, and our five-year-old live in Payson. Okay, yeah. so close. Awesome. I grew up in Salt Lake City, and I'm living there now. I okay. go to school in the fall. I go to the University of Northern Colorado, so oh, I'll be there wow. half okay. the year and then here for the summer. I'm always awesome. so intrigued. Like, our community theater brings people mm -hmm. from all over the place. Hours away. So it must be great, <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, it's an, yeah, it's an excellent community theater, and it's a really fun show, so it's like, it's worth it's worth the travel. A man won't speak for you, Greg. <laughs> it is it's worth, worth the worth travel. travel. Okay, so that. did the show bring you to the theater this year, or would you just have signed up anyway, no matter what? Um, I really love Spanish Sport Community Theater. I've done a few shows with them, and um, and this year I thought, well, let's maybe see what other theaters are doing. And when they came out with all of their, um, you know, the list of what their shows are, uh -huh. I just thought, oh, Sandy Cheeks, I think that has to be the one. <laughs> <laughs> so, Such yeah. a fun time. I was going to ask that. When you go in to try out, do you go in to try out for a specific role? Um, not all the time, mm -hmm. but I think, I think 
Probably all of us did, <laughs> okay. right? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I tried out with Mr. Krabs in mind, uh, but oh, even though everyone told me, that. yeah, everyone was like, you'd be way better at Patrick. I was like, I don't know if I could pull that off. Which he does. I like to think so. He does. <laughs> wow. And so is this like a dream to just go keep further and further and, and get bigger and bigger? Like, is that your ultimate dream? I'm just here for fun. Oh, okay. The community. It, I was going to say you have a master's theater. degree. Correct? Yeah, I do. In geology. Yeah, I, okay. in geology. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. She's yeah. the smart one. Yep, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. She yeah. keeps you guys grounded. She keeps us. Yeah, keeps absolutely. Like, boys fun. grounded. It's the big sure. words. Yeah, yeah exactly. Really. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so this is like your hobby and your passion, just yeah. to do this for fun. Yeah, it is. How yeah. exciting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. I I did acting in uh, high school and stuff, and junior high especially, and I was kind of out of the fray, but um. When our wonderful director, uh, Kara Polson, when I found out she was directing, she was my uh, junior high drama teacher. So I was like, well, I have to. Uh, and so it's really been, it's been wonderful. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Time. So when did you start? So like, when did you audition? And then how long have you been practicing? Auditions started mid to late April. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then callbacks were about a week after that and then it really kind of kicked into gear at the Pretty start quickly. of May. Like, it was like we had a couple at the end of April but then it was the start of May was really when, when it kind we of really mm -hmm. were all there. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well Gray, I mean Spongebob is kind of the star of the show. Uh, just, <laughs> I mean, a, just a little. A yeah. little bit. So is that stressful? What intrigued you for that part? Uh, well yeah I was looking for a lot of things. I am trying to do theater you know professionally. I'm well, going to school okay. for musical theater so oh, okay. yeah I was looking at a lot of stuff and it was so hard to find a production that worked with the dates of school and also being, oh, yeah. you know, just home mm -hmm. for a short amount of time in the summer. But I just stumbled upon this and I was like, wait, Sponge. I saw the show before and I was like, this would be amazing. So, yeah, I just I went for it. And yeah, yes, stressful for sure. There's uh -huh. a lot of material, but the cast is so supportive. Like these these guys are the best. <laughs> and and I seriously mean that like we've become really yeah. great friends and mm -hmm. like the stress is relieved through friendship and also just supporting each other, so. Yeah. Well, what about voice impersonations? Oh. I mean, oh. I want to hear a little bit. I always yeah. want yes. something. Yeah, well, like, are, are you asking, like, do we do, do like, we do the voice do right. yes. yeah. 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 Give us Oh, a absolutely. <laughs> I do the Patrick voice for most of my, pretty much every line. It gets hard to sing in the voice. I, I can only oh. sing for a little bit, you know, like, but I, I do the voice for the dialogue. Could you guys do, are there, is there a scene where all three of you are together that you could quickly think of and kind of... Oh, yeah. Off the top of the head. That, or we like could do the, 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 male, the one where we go and are like, Sandy. We could. Oh, yeah. Okay. Or should we just wait and have everyone come and see it and see and our impressions live on stage? Oh, <laughs> we should all just give, let's like, just give one give line. Okay. One line. Your okay. favorite line or just a yeah. line? Uh, well, who first? Go first. You got it. <clears throat> The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. Oh. <laughs> Direct from the show. It's, it's definitely my favorite. Love it. I think the first line in the show that I really that I really like is, um, we can find a way to halt the exponential increase of pyroclastic flow in the subterranean magma chamber. Oh, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> yes, a master's degree. Mine is during, it's during SpongeBob's big number. It's called Just a Simple Sponge, where he's like, I'm gonna save my life and save my town, and then I just think this is really funny. He goes, um, Sandy's brains plus Patrick's brawn plus my. I'm not really sure what my thing is yet, but that won't stop me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> So let's talk about dates, times, and locations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have those memorized? Do we? Yeah, I do. Uh, um, I don't know the exact times of each show, but I do know we're performing from the 18th to the 27th. We have a couple mm -hmm. matinee performances. I believe one of the matinees is on the 24th. Okay. So if you're if you're tired from the parade, if it's hot that day, mm -hmm. uh, and you want to come yeah. and hang out inside, we'd love to have you. Uh -huh. So um, I'm trying to think of the other days of the matinees. I think the 27th, the last show. I think is the, the last show is a matinee. Closing night is. And matinee. I think this. I think the Saturday before. Yeah, I don't know. You guys well. will probably know yeah. better than I do. But. <laughs> well, I know but, yeah. people can go. I'll receive a magazine in the mail. All the residents yes. of Spanish work in Salem, and I'll have the dates and the times. Or they can go to SF Fiesta Days. Yes. Yep. Yep. And, and get everything there, yep. too. And I believe you can buy the tickets now at sfcityticks.com. Yes, you can do that. Yep. Perfect. And where? 
Maple Mountain High Maple School. Maple Mountain High School. Maple Mountain High School. Yeah. I thought it said switch up. Yes. A new yeah. place. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's an awesome How theater. How has that been? I mean, it, you've done theater there yeah, before. Yeah, I've done a little so. bit of theater there. So it's it's kind of like returning home, you know? It's like okay. coming back and being like, oh, I remember this. I remember doing this here, you know? So it, it's been fun. Uh, but yeah, I want to hear what you guys think of it because you guys have never performed there. It's it's awesome. It's really big. It's, it's probably, a very yeah. wide stage, which yeah. is super cool, and like yeah. we have so much room to play. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's a really it's a pretty updated. The school I went to Skyline High School in Salt Lake City. Oh, and it's gosh. like in the built in the '60s, so really old. So it's nice to be in a more updated. We had an old school like that in Spanish for yeah. just last week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I was gonna week, say, yeah. don't go if you've been to the shows before. Don't go to the old one because you won't find any there. there. It won't be there. Yeah. Won't be there. And during that just time, the I think it was competing with youth theater, right? So I remember like it kind of being crowded backstage, and you, there wasn't a lot of wiggle room. So probably being in the new space. But it's a really big been, space. Okay, mm -hmm. easier Very to nice. share. Yeah, yeah. Let me need to. That's awesome. good. Well, it's been nice. You guys are amazing. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have a full two weeks. Yeah. yeah, we're really excited. We, we've had about a, a, a full three months. Yeah. <laughs> so you're ready. You're ready. I, to get I think I'm ready. Are you guys ready for it? We will be ready. We, as soon as <laughs> that is what happens. I want to say. We'll be ready. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys! Mm -hmm. I saw the SpongeBob play by Spanish Fork High School, their drama oh, yeah. team, a couple yeah. years back, and I was so impressed mm -hmm. at that level. So I can't wait to see you guys. It's yeah. such an amazing yeah. show. Every time I tell people I'm in it, they're like, "Oh, that's a musical! Like that's yeah. strange." But it has a show with a lot of, obviously a lot of comedy, but so much heart and so much Kay. depth and story. It's 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 honestly beautiful. And kids are going to love it. Kids are going to love it. And adults are also going to love it. It's, it's a play for everybody. Exactly. You know, yeah. it's, I was telling you guys really earlier, great. my 30 year olds now, they used to have your names as like their <laughs> nicknames. Yeah. So they'll be super excited well, to come and see yeah. it too. We'll be there cheering you all on. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll yeah. to get our tickets tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. Last year we saw the return of the pie baking contest to Fiesta Days and it was a yummy success. Let's welcome the pie expert, Mark Warner, to the table. Thanks for Hi, inviting me. Mark. Welcome. Glad to be here. I love to talk about pies. You well, do. You know how to cook, bake, so this is going to be a fun segment. It is. So my question is, did they ask you, did you volunteer? How did you get the job? Uh, the job. <laughs> this wife I position. <laughs> right. had been on the executive committee for three years and we had a retirement party and then s shortly thereafter we got a phone call to see if we wouldn't be over the pie baking contest. Out of retirement, okay. just like that. <laughs> Let me give you guys a little bit of insight because he's okay. not going to toot his own horn because I'm won't. also on the executive committee. That's all right. And okay. Mark planted the seed okay. to bring back this pie eating Pie eating. There's no pie, pie eating. I know, we, we, we are going to eat pie. Pie baking. Pie baking contest. Pie baking you baking planted contest. the seed, and I have found out if you're the one that plants the seed, you're usually the one that oversees that seed grow. And you got to so kind of nourish it, huh? Yes. All right. Yeah. How so, did that occur with you? Well, my love of cooking and baking uh, and the pie contest took place about 15 years ago. I was down in City Park celebrating Fiesta Days at some event, I can't remember what, and I noticed there at the back of the park a whole bunch of pies laid out on a table. So I thought, well, this is interesting, and I walked over and I thought, I, I can probably get a piece of one of these, you uh -huh. know, <laughs> if I hang out a little yeah. bit. And Did so they let I, you? Uh, you know, at the end, they did share okay. some pieces, so <laughs> I, I, it, it was worth the effort. And I just watched the contest, and I thought, this is interesting, I'm going to try this. So the next year, I signed myself and my daughter up, and we entered our pies, and we won our categories, and Bravo, I, Mark. I walked away with overall pie, too. That's so crazy. Not and I was excited. That was oh, exciting. You should have been. What did you make or bake? I made an 11, uh, a lemon meringue pie. Mm. Mm. And that's a kind of a difficult pie to make mm -hmm. work out. And I would so, imagine, like I the textures and it. is the it too meringue, runny? Right? Yeah, to get the meringue and all these other things. So And I, then transfer it down to the park in mm -hmm. 100 degrees. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. the whole the whole thing is and make sure tricky. that they get just the right amount of tasting, right? Yes, and you know you got that moraine that's got to brown off just right, and Ooh. everything's got to be. 
and I helped my daughter make an apple pie. Okay. Mm. And, and did she win as well? She won her category, okay. yes. So that's You went back kinda, again and again. Well, I went back the next year and we won our categories again <laughs> with different pies yeah. and and then I I think it kind of went away after that. So hmm. I was excited to bring it back. I think that's a really a small town community thing. I, I do and, they, and they don't want you to enter, right? No, they, they're not <laughs> interested in me entering. So you get to be the judge now. So tell us how you judge these pies. So a pie is judged on about five different categories. One is the crust. You want to check the flakiness and make sure it was done right. And I like a crust that has some flavor to it too. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the taste of the pie, overall pie, mm -hmm. uh, which is a very important judging point. I think that gathers the most points. Uh, the look of the pie or the presentation of the pie. It's gorgeous, Natasha. Yes, my store-bought <laughs> pie. Banana cream. You've yes, done really well with that. Yes. And the filling. Ooh. You know? Okay. And so we have a, the executive committee and myself and my wife and others are going to be judging these pies. And last year, first year out, we had 30 pies there. I think we didn't oh. expect that type mm -hmm. of... And so I'd like to double that this year. I, that would I be really that. nice. That's so what awesome. are the different categories? Uh, there's three different categories, and that's fruit pies, mm. cream pies, like the okay. one we have in front of us, and non-fruit pies. Okay. And everybody will ask, what's a non-fruit pie? Do you, like uh, a chocolate cream? Or no. like peanut a peanut butter pie? No. A peanut butter pie okay. would be a non-fruit okay. pie. A chocolate cream, right? No, that, that is a cream pie. pie. Oh, okay. Oh, that's not Nut pies, <laughs> pecan pie. Okay. Oh, okay. What about a pumpkin? Pumpkin pie would be okay. a, a non-fruit okay. pie. Okay. Custard okay. pies. Okay. Oh, custard pies. Okay, so like a buttermilk type. Yes. Okay. So One years ago, favorite. I mean, we go down to Bicknell every year to go duck hunting, and there's a little cafe there, the Sun Glow Cafe, and they have all different pies, a pickle pie. Good. I haven't had that one, but I'm so willing good. to try. You should try it. You should drive down there. It's like a custard pie, like uh -huh. a buttermilk. So good inside. Really? I couldn't recreate it, but I could go buy it. Oh. <laughs> what about like a rhubarb pie? That would be a non-fruit non, okay. fruit pie. Hmm. So, Mark, how do people sign up? Yes. You go to the Spanish Fort Fiesta Day's website and sign up. Uh, the entry form will be sent to me, and, uh, and I just keep track of them is all I do. Okay. Okay. It's so far we've had a lot of out of city people That's sign so up. Cool. So it's open to everybody. Okay. There's did I mention there's two different age no. groups? Mm -hmm. So there's fourteen and under. Okay. And us old people fifteen and up. So. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Are there any hard and fast rules that you have to make your crust. Now, oh. myself and the judges, <laughs> I'm out. we would be I able... I can't buy the pie and enter it. It's a, you know, you have to make the whole pie. Okay. okay. Uh, we'd like you to submit the recipe with it. Okay. Uh, so we can check some things and stuff like that. Uh, so, Mark, I had an idea with the Fiesta Days magazine and the recipe. What about next year we put the recipe, whoever wins the overall pie, in the magazine? I think that's a fabulous idea. Uh, I mean, if they're really great bakers, they might leave out a little secret like out of just that. Just the but, salt you know. or something. You're going to pull it out and be like, ooh, this isn't. Salt. Uh -huh. Yeah. I just think that would be fun to have the pie eating contest, pie baking contest. You're really stuck on I'm, this eating. I, I'm just staring at this. <laughs> well, it's hard. We're really yeah, wanting our, a piece. Our, yes, we really want it. We like oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think that would be super Okay, fun. and so nothing, it doesn't cost to enter. It doesn't cost to enter. But they do get prizes. Yes. Yes. Fabulous cash and prizes. Okay. Okay. Which my wife and I are in charge of, so I, we haven't done it yet. And a chance to be in the magazine. Mm-hmm. Right? True. And then when are they announcing the winners? They're announcing the winners on the following Sunday. So this is, it, the pie is on Tuesday, July 16th. The 16th. Okay. At 6 p.m., uh, we'll start receiving pies at uh, 5.30 to 6, and then you need to return and pick up your leftover pie because we're not going to consume that whole pie if we've got 50 of them there. Uh, anywhere between 7.30 and 8. Okay, That's come so back, cool. get your pie. Mm -hmm. Then Sunday night at Sunday night in the park, mm -hmm. 
you're going to get up on stage and announce the winner and give some Thank awards, oh, yeah. some cash yeah. awards. It's like, let's make a deal. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I say you should have little mini cups, and then people should maybe like let others try it after it's all over. That would be fun. Like, mm -hmm. like people like you, 15 uh -huh. years ago in the park. Uh -huh. Well, it's down the senior center. I guess we could maybe you could dole think. out pie after. Uh -huh. There yeah. you uh -huh. go. Whoever so, Mark, some. do you love baking? I don't think we talked about this. I'm not as much a baker as I am a, a cook. But yet you can whip out the best lemon meringue pie in Spanish Fork City. Well, and he's not a baker. I just, <laughs> I got lucky. Oh, how did you come across those talents mm -hmm. and skills? Have you always enjoyed it? Yes. Well, I've always had a love for food and a necessity to cook. I, <laughs> <laughs> the people I associate with aren't very good cooks. Oh, gee. I think my people would say that about me. <laughs> my husband asked me before, we left, before I left tonight, he's like, are we eating tonight? I'm like, yeah, leftovers. He's like, oh, I, I'm sure he's wondering. Where's Mark? Where, where, yes. Where's anyone, the, anyone that wants to cook? Do you ever share your talents as, cater, as a caterer? Yes, I've okay. catered different events, church events, and, and I've catered some weddings before. That's awesome. Uh, I had all the Fiesta Day committee over my house mm -hmm. for dinner. Oh, oh, he cooked the entire meal. Oh my mm. goodness. We just showed up. How do I get an invitation, yeah. right? We need to have a Sunday dinner yes. with Mark. Yes. Mark, thanks for coming and, and thanks for overseeing this. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> this does remind me like small town, hometown. It's just it a is. good 4th of July. It is. It's a good thing. It uh, makes the Spanish Fork the community that we're, it really is. So. Yeah. Well, everyone should agree. be there and enter their pies. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thanks, thanks so much. Thank you. All right. Let's have a piece. If you're like me, some of the best moments during Fiesta Days are spent walking that path where the food vendors are. And a favorite of our Spanish Fork 17 crew is the tri-tip sandwich <laughs> from Big Papa's Barbecue. Welcome Lori and Todd Catnell to the table. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. My I, mouth is watering, guys, already. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, I want to dare say it's not just the, a favorite of the Spanish Fork 17 crew. I think it's a favorite of the entire community. <laughs> yes, it really How is. long have you guys been doing this? Since about 2005. So you're like wow. 20 a years long almost. Long time. Yep. Okay, so how did you start it? Was it just <laughs> a home? You made it really good and you're like, I need to share it? Well, when we lived in California, our pool parties, when we would barbecue out by the pool on the farm, would be tri-tip. Okay. And so when we moved up here, um, in our neighborhood, we had a family over, and uh, it was Kent and Barbara Mimmet, and they used to do the Texas Twisters. Okay. And the relatives so of the Texas Twisters that are on the corner, down here. on the corner oh, of the okay. Fiesta Beach. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and so he tasted the sandwich, and he goes, this is so good. And we said, well, thank you. And he said, why don't you sell this? And we said, I don't know if it would sell. You know, and he goes, people would love this. And so we tried it and it just took off. Okay, so this is a lot of work. You're, you're down there for five nights? Mm -hmm. Well, days. Four, four to five days, yeah. Depending on where, where the 24th oh hit. Mm -hmm. And you're usually in 100 degree weather, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on your feet, mm -hmm. long lines, and you love it? We do. You love yeah. it, right? Yeah. <laughs> we do. As long as I'm under the big back. tree. <laughs> yes. You like your big tree spot. I like the spot. big tree because it well, gives me the shade during the day. If you get the right spot. Yeah. Okay. If you get the right spot because uh -huh. I'm back by the barbecue all day long. Yeah. Oh, He's you're the barbecue. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And Lori, I mean, you've been in the food industry, right? Mm -hmm. Weren't you a sweet um, lunch lady yes. for years? I was a area supervisor for Nebel School District for... Well, about 18 years, and then I was a cook in the kitchen and a manager. Wow. So I worked for Nebo for 23 years. That's did, amazing. Did that mean that you chose the menus ever? I used to do the menus okay. for Nebo School District, but then okay. with all the diet, you mm -hmm. know, the diet restrictions. restrictions with celiac and soy and milk, then um, they hired a dietitian. Okay. You used to give us some peanut butter bars. When yes. you were choosing, <laughs> I know you gave us those. So yes. No favorite. more, no yeah. more peanut butter bars in the school. No, only if you come to my house or I cater your oh. wedding. Wow. <laughs> so I want to hear some of your favorite Fiesta Days things. I mean, some of ours is the tri-tip sandwich mm -hmm. at the food vendors. But what about you guys? Are you able to enjoy anything else? We uh, we like the entertainment that is on the stage in the back. Mm -hmm. um, that seems to be one of the favorites. 
of a lot of people, but uh -huh. we like we like to hear the different uh, Spanish Forks Got Talent type of things. Okay. Uh, we also like the street dance because it's usually right out in oh, front of our booth. Yeah. Well, you guys yeah. are kind yeah. of the hub down there yeah. Yeah. of everything going on. I have a funny question about this. How much meat right? do you buy? Like, I can't even fathom that. Yeah. Probably about close to a thousand pounds. Oh, 1, to 1200 for Fiesta pounds days. For gosh. Fiesta days. Oh my goodness. We just went through almost 750 to 800 pounds over at Art City Days that we did here a couple weeks ago. Oh, so you've expanded. I, oh yeah, we, so, we, so you do, okay. So we you, do a couple, uh, Salem at least days. once, one a, a month for the summertime. We used to do a lot more. Then when she got her cancer, we, we scaled yeah. back some. Well, we need to have, you're invited back and share your cancer story in October. Yeah. Oh, I, I would love, love to. I'm in remission, so that's wonderful. That is so oh, good. Yeah. So well, happy yeah. to hear that. Yeah. yeah. So what about additional help? I mean, that's a lot of meat, that's a lot of cooking, that's a lot of, you know, head, head count for people. Uh, do you have additional people helping you in the background and yeah. how do you do that? We have our, our son and daughter-in-law that season the meat for us the night before for the next day. Okay. So that when we get home, we've <laughs> got prep, you know, we have a lot of prep that we still have to get ready for the next day. So they usually season for about two to three hours. Okay. And then my daughter does advertising and she helps us at the booth when I can't be there. And we've got um, kids from our neighborhood, from my daughter's neighborhood that um, have good work ethics and so wow, yeah. they probably yeah. look forward to it as their yeah, we summer have fun. job. We and have the fun. events. Yeah, oh, fun. we hire them when they're about twelve or thirteen because they like coming and, right. and working and yeah. And we have to train them a few years uh, because we lose them about 16, 16 years old. Because yeah. once they get in high school, it's all other activities. So yeah. right. the we guys. have to the keep boys. them <laughs> keep them going for a few years. So I bet it's so much fun just being down there and socializing. Do you find that every year you see the regulars coming back to yes. your oh, yeah. booth? We have new ones. We just love the people. It, it's so much fun to be down there, even when it's hot. It's just, There's just it's energy. the best town. Yeah, we love Spanish Fork. How long have you guys lived in Spanish Fork? Because I know we lived in the same neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And then you moved in the as 90s. we moved in. It, well, you moved out and we moved in. Okay. I, I mean, within that. just like, a couple weeks. Like 2000, I think. Okay, yeah, that's when we moved out. We, when we moved 2000. Here. In 2000. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And that's when you moved here from California. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then our sons became friends. Yes. Yeah. Played basketball together yeah. and sports. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. So you're geared up. You're ready to go for Fiesta Days. Yep. Yep. You talked about Texas Twisters. So do you have, are there other food vendors? Do you ever step away to sample other food? Do you guys get competitive? Mm. Well, <laughs> let's hear the dirt. No. <laughs> no, we just, we know we have a good product and we just try to keep it the same every year, fresh and, and good and, and. Um, I do like the, I do like south of the border. Yeah. Okay. I like okay. to step away and. Yeah, we do. After like I've cooked so, so many tri-tip, I just, can't really eat it yeah. <laughs> uh, after so many days. So I step away and go to a couple other vendors just to get something a little different, which is kind of nice. It is fun. I usually get a Texas Twister and then the corn, mm -hmm. yeah. and, and the then come good. get a try to. We always yeah. like the corn. Uh -huh. We like the corn yeah. on the co oh, cob. So, so good. What exactly is in your booth? If, if nobody's ever been to your booth, is it just the tri-tip sandwich? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have the Supreme which is the pepper jack cheese, grilled onions and peppers, mm -hmm. and then just the regular. And then our food truck, we have um, tri-tip nachos and a tri-tip salad with the two sandwiches. I did not oh. know you have a food truck. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the nachos that came good. That came last year. We, this is our second year. Um, we had so many people come to us at the booth, uh -huh. say, where's your store? And I got tired of hearing it. <laughs> once she got, uh, okayed from the doctors and stuff with her cancer uh -huh. um, she said if I feel good we're gonna get we'll get a food truck so okay. we, we did get one mm -hmm. and now everybody can have one more than just once a year okay so you said you do about one a month so like art city days fiesta days Salem days for mm -hmm. example so does that mean during the other nights of the week you're doing your food truck mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh you guys that. we take you're it busy. out we take it out uh, a lot of times twice a week sometimes three times a week and do you have a day job 
I mm. work part-time at Home Depot. <laughs> okay. But during the summer months, they allow me to just work on Sundays, and so I, okay. I work just a few hours on Sundays, and the mo rest of the time is spent oh with gosh. the food trailer. So you do you ever dream of slowing down? <laughs> yeah. That's what everybody asks us, but if we slow down, you get to... <laughs> She wants to yeah, keep yeah. you going. She's right? great. She'd like to go visit grandkids. Yeah. <laughs> and our drive the truck. Yeah, yeah. Put us, you know, come down to the booth to see us during the day. So it's fun. Oh, yeah. I love wow. the parade. Yeah, it sounds so like much fun. You have uh, every man's dream job. Yeah, <laughs> you're grilling meat and, and hanging <laughs> out at Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. that's awesome. You and guys. hearing the entertainment in the park. Yes. Honestly, we're grateful that these food vendors come down there because it's kind of it really is that hub of that area is down there at the park. It's a sweet five nights not to cook. Yes, yeah. Yeah. it is. Yeah. Great love excuse it. for yeah. us. Yeah. Uh -huh. Delicious. I yeah, love thank you. getting my sandwich. And we, yeah. always, we wondered this year because of the change with the library being across the street and them revamping for uh -huh. parks and stuff if we'd still be down at the park, but we yeah. are. So. Good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Centrally We're glad still there. Yeah. Well, Perfect. best of luck. Thank you. We'll see you down thank there you. on We'll be there. A hot summer night. Got yep, the meat ordered sandwich. and we're ready to go. Okay, go see, see Big Papa's then. barbecue. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Uh, you bet. Thanks. Few events have created more family memories than Fiesta Days, and one of our favorite segments is to hear the stories of those memories. Let's welcome the Pruitt family, Lisa, Dallas, and Sammy to the table. Welcome, welcome. Hi. These are some of my very favorite people <laughs> in the wide world. Now, me and Stacey are lucky enough to live in Dallas's ward. Yep. Okay. Sammy used to dance with my daughter, Mackenzie, and I yes. just feel like I've known you since. And did my hair when my daughter didn't live here. Yes. yes. Okay. And then Lisa's just a dear friend that we got to be dance moms <laughs> with and then friends with. And yeah. You know yeah. how I met Lisa? How? She was Brianna's hostess mom when Brianna tried out for Miss Spanish Fork in 2010. Yeah. I didn't know you were a hostess yeah. mom. Yeah. My one and only year. <laughs> oh, it was yes. meant to be oh, that time I got to meet you. Yes. <laughs> so every year okay. we love to just bring in some people in Spanish Fork and talk about Fiesta Days, memories, traditions, family gatherings. So spill the beans. <laughs> Who we start How long with? have you been in Spanish? Like, kind of give us a little history. Well, I well I grew up in Salem. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's in Spanish. Okay. Say, you be careful. <laughs> but okay. yesterday's was always a big part of our yeah. life. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's a long time, and I'm, mm -hmm. you know, so it's a lot of years. I won't tell you how many. <laughs> but and then, so our kids have just been doing this forever. But you so. raised your kids in Spanish work. No, we. I raised my kids in all, except for Sammy. So Sam. I moved to Spanish uh -huh. work when I was in like ninth grade. Oh, so the house oh, you live okay. in now that I know where you live, yeah. I thought that's where you always lived. Nope. No. But we all went to Spanish work high school, so it was be, it was before okay. the days. Okay, I'm just qualifying you because yeah. I was like, if you didn't even live here, why are you? No, just why yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What? Say that. Oh, we moved to Spanish work in 2008. Yeah. Okay, that's oh, long wow. enough. But yeah, okay. say the most of the things. Yeah, so so same in high school. We all went to Spanish work high school. I know. We we have. My husband and I, all my children and all my grandchildren will go to Spanish Fork High. Oh, oh my goodness. So, that's pretty cool. That's pretty, that's pretty amazing. Yes, that is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lisa, so tell us some of your, you're probably a tradition. Is she a tradition? Oh, girl? yes. Okay. For sure. Oh, all right. Man, yes. is she a tradition? Girl? She loves For a good sure. tradition. Like, I do too. Tradition. Let's Sometimes take to my uh, detriment. Yes, a tradition can have a hard time good. dying off with yes. Lisa Pruitt, yes. For sure. We do it once, we do it forever. And then some maybe we shouldn't. And if you don't, you're shunned. So traditions matter. <laughs> My kids know this too. Yes, Where were you? True. You're yeah. in trouble. Okay, what's one of your favorite traditions? For the for Fiesta Days, one yeah. of our favorite traditions is well, for forty five years we've been going to the um, fire we go to the fire station for the parade. So my father-in-law, Ken Pruitt, was in the fire department for many years and he so that's just one of our things. We always go to the fire station. We always sit at the same place, tradition, and watch the parade. <laughs> uh -huh. oh, yeah. So, so that's do you your mark spot. your spot? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We don't need to, because like, Grandpa no Pruitt gets there and marks the territory yes. on before yes. we get there. Does he, okay. When Nobody does he get there? The when does he start he marking the territory? Late the night oh, before, yeah. really? <laughs> sleeping over, yes. Grandpa. Yes. Yes. Actually, it's kind of funny, because it's the same people, because the same people have been in the fire department for many years. Right. So. Yeah, I remember when it was on the other side of the road. Yeah, we used to go. All the way back then. Yep. Yeah. Okay. 
Ooh. And they just kind of know where you sit. So yeah. Like, oh, this is where the people get very territorial. Well, it's funny because like, all the families sit spot. in the same spots. <laughs> right. You know? right? Yeah. I've noticed that. Yeah. Like, I grew yeah. up in Provo when I came to Spanish. I mean, I've been here for almost 30 years. I still feel like a transplant. No, yeah. the shepherds sit there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. 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 For sure. Yes. Yeah. So, so that's that's one we've done forever. That sticks What does your 24th of July look like in your family? Um, is it just the parade? So we go to the parade. We usually head to the park, um, get some yummy food. I loved when the pool was still around because we did that for a long time. We oh. would go to the pool because Perfect it's day. so oh. hot. Mm -hmm. It so is. Hot. It's usually always yes. hot, right? So You're just hot. dying. Yes. And then my grandma Pruitt, she always does a party. She always does yeah, a, always barbecue. a barbecue. That night or uh -huh. more midday? Yeah. Kind of like mid-afternoon. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Then we started going to the rodeo. So then it's like the barbecue's gotten early -ish, so we can go to the rodeo. Uh -huh. Right, yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's fun. That's kind of what our day looks like. It's definitely an all day affair. Yeah. For sure. Oh, yeah. What's your favorite part? Tell us. What are some of your memories of oh, it? Oh, man. For me, the parade always sticks out. Like I always remember going to the parade and be excited, being excited to go to the parade. Um, I'm not as excited as an adult, but I'm excited to watch my kids go to the parade. <laughs> like as a kid, I loved going. Yeah, I've, um, I noticed that with my son-in-laws and my husband. Like the girls, we love the parade, right? We want to get our kids all dressed up. Yeah. The guys yes. are like, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's cool. Like I, I, I like, like I was telling them, like, we have pictures of like Crosby and Capri sitting in front of the fire truck, just like we had when we were kids, and it's fun Aww. to just kind of like, keep those traditions going. Totally. Um, I think. It, in recent times, we were joking about it, but really, like Haley and I, we do this Pioneer Dinner with our kids. That's a fun 24th of July tradition. We, our backyard now is the Pioneer Cemetery. Uh -huh. right. So I think like in the midst of doing all the things, I think for us lately, it's been a cool tradition to just kind of like bring to light to our kids, like why we have this Pioneer heritage and like what it means, um, which is really cool. Uh, and my favorite memory we were talking about just barely is Crosby, the rodeo has always been fun, but it kind of took on a whole new thing a couple years ago. Uh, Crosby, how old was he? Like, mm, oh, yeah. He was little. Five, like, Crosby four, was five. maybe five. Barely old enough to even get on a sheep. And so he, <laughs> I think it boded well in his favor because he had no clue what he was doing. He got on the sheep and did the mutton busting, rolled the whole thing down the entire length of the arena and when he dismounted he landed on his feet and he got like a 95 something and won the trophy oh. and everything and he could barely even talk and Aww. and the whole core memory is not i mean I, core memory. I got text from friends that i grew up with in high school they're like hey we were at the rodeo and we saw crosby <laughs> kill it on that sheep you know and yeah. and uh he, he they asked him to kiss the rodeo queen and i'm on like, oh, no, he, you know. he, 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 he's so funny because he's kind of a shy kid uh -huh. so like i remember though too he got off and he did like the whole he did the like yeah, <laughs> the yeah but it was just so funny for him because he took his hat so off quiet. and then we we walked back and i'm, I'm not kidding you it took us 45 minutes to get back to our seats because everybody's like, hey, can I get a picture with you? No way. Crosby, you're the man. Like, look at that, that kid. You know? yeah. oh, so fun. that was a, that's like one core memory of a lot. I, I remember the 24th growing up my whole life. I mean, we, I don't think there's ever been a year I've missed except for when I was on my mission, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's so, so cool. Have yeah. you guys ever been in the parades or done anything? I have. Dancing on the drill team. Oh you know, yeah, gotta get those lost cholitas out there. So yeah. Yeah. I did when I was on the drill team, and that was fun. It, yeah, that so just fun. Cool times, so right? fun. Yes, like, feel like you live for those moments in high school for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was fun. Those I, were fun memories. I remember. Trevor Brindley and I were so stoked to be pooper scoopers and dressed up like uh, rodeo clowns <laughs> when we were in maybe like, no, if I was in high school, I wouldn't have done it. It was uh, maybe like middle school. And I think I, we were just sto so stoked because it was like, we got to drive a four wheeler and we painted our faces so we were unrecognizable oh. and just acted like fools during the, the parade. It was so fun. And picked up all the horse oh, crap. Oh, what good sport. And it was cool. Oh my gosh. That's so I remember sport. that. That's the fun stuff. Yeah. Lisa, yeah. looking back over so many fiesta days, do you have a favorite or is it just oh, the, the lineup of the traditions that mean a lot yeah I don't really have a favorite um, okay. you enjoy it in different ways you know Agreed. like when my kids were little it was all about getting them dressed up and going and you know and now it's so fun for me to just watch my kids bring their kids mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know and see that they love it as much as I did and their kids look forward to it as much as my kids look forward to it and I love to see them carrying on those traditions that they love. <laughs> yes. But I do, that's probably what's 
you know, so much more of a love to me now is watching them right. love it more mm -hmm. than me loving it. So Does Sammy, your little girl is how old now? She's one, almost Kay. one and a half. So you're just embarking on this oh, setting yes. up new traditions. What are you most excited for? Uh, for to her. do her hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm of so course. excited to do her hair. Oh, You're like, we have the stars. schedule lined up. Yes, I've, she's I've had a bought. rodeo outfit for quite oh, some yes. time. Right. She dressed right. her up nice. for the rodeo. Oh, okay, good. It yes. her all all yes. 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 Different oh, looks. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yep. I bought some cute little like hair gel that's <laughs> like for the July, 24th of July. Um, stars and all the things. All I'm so them. excited. <laughs> it's just so crazy. It's like, that was you guys not too long ago. Yes. And now the little babes. Yes. Oh, that's yeah. so fun. Yes. I love your comment, though, about that 24th dinner that you guys do. Because yeah. really, we kind of forget, like, the purpose behind mm -hmm. what Absolutely. we're celebrating. What, right? Do you do that on the 24th or, like, the yeah, week we do it Yeah, we do it usually the Sunday of the 24th. Um, and and we, like, the girls put bonnets on and and we just tell stories. Haley does a really good job with that kind of stuff. And we'll we'll make homemade butter in That's um, what it was. a yes. jar. Yes, there was something very specifically. And the kids love it. And, mm -hmm. and it's just kind of this, you know, fun meal. And and uh, it's it's a really cool thing. Haley implemented it. I don't know a number of years ago. We've just yeah. it's just caught on, and that's something we've done ever since. That's so cute. I so yeah, awesome. yeah, it's, so yeah, cute. it's really cool. Okay, what about fireworks? Do you guys do fireworks at home or do you go watch them? We usually watch them on the 24th. We do them on the 4th. Okay. But we don't usually do them on the 24th yeah. at our house, but we do love watching them. Yeah. And the one before. Is it like Pyro We love the, the week before, before yes. too. I feel like that's yes. the kickoff to all yeah. of it. I love right. that. So that one's my and favorite. And that's a newer tradition, I mean, yeah. in the last yeah. eight years, yeah. ten years. Yeah, I feel like that one's really fun. It's really fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you guys live in my neighborhood, so you know what happens in our neighborhood with 24th floor. We have many yeah. cul-de-sacs I don't spend a dime on fireworks. I just sit on my front lawn and look <laughs> and up. I'm like, Mikkel's got one yeah. going on. We have one in ours. Yeah. That's and, so fun. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. true. One thing we've never really done a lot of is go to the community theater. And oh. that's, but this year Dallas's daughter's in yeah, it. Capri's She's in, it. in the play. So that's mm. a new one we're going to start. Yeah. Well, we just had them on before you came oh, in good. Today yes. to film. So yeah. it's going to be a great cast yeah. Yeah. up at Maple Mountain High School. So maybe we'll see you guys there. Yeah. 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 yeah we're excited to go. Capri's oh. really excited. She's, She's really pumped. Yeah. Yes. A fun so. tradition to add on to add another one to yes. 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 So another one to add. Yes. Another one to add. The two weeks on the calendar, right? I tell myself, like, every year, I mean, we do vacation during that time. My in-laws do. But I try and, like, do something different, maybe, that I didn't do the year before. So I went to the quilt. I love the quilt show. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was I amazed, it. right? It was mm -hmm. just something new and unique. So yes. I know I can't always hit everything, yeah. but trying to like find a new something. That was an yeah. old tradition we always did. After the yeah. parade, we would walk down there and see all the quilts. And I remember that as a kid, and it was fun. Yeah. I remember it's the crafter being in the landmark high school, the old, old landmark where yeah. the district down is. Do you guys the, remember uh -huh. that? It was yeah. at least inside. and air conditioned. Oh, a little cooler. That's crazy. Yeah. Back in the day. Yeah. Do you I guys do the carnival? Uh, our kids beg us to do the carnival. For sure. And do you pay them not to go? Yeah, well, no, because if we say no, somebody else in the family's like, hey, we should go to the carnival. And so we end up at the car like, carnival. Right. And uh, growing up, it was really cool. It's funny, you get older and you're like, I don't want to go to the carnival. But when you were a kid, it was like the coolest thing on the face of planet Earth. Right. And that's how our kids all are still. They're like, can we go to the carnival, you know? And we try to bribe them to go do something else over in the park, grab some food and, and uh, you know, a trinket from one of the one of the booths um, and it ends up usually being all of it instead you oh, know yeah. we can't really bribe them it's there there and then we eventually make it to the carnival oh, too wow. so oh yeah i mean we literally touch point on every everything you can bring your pocket so book and yes. just go some yeah. things never change and we love that yeah thanks yeah. for yeah. joining Thank us yeah thanks Thank guys you. thanks Thank guys you. we love Bye. you thank you We told you that we love Fiesta Days. I think that came through today. It did. Yes. Truly Fun. one of our favorite episodes right? of the year to film. Yes, it is. It. Yeah, and it was great. And there's more to come. This is mm -hmm. one episode. And then in a couple of weeks, we're going to go to Reams and film one of our, our favorite, other ones. Right? Mm -hmm. We just can't get enough of Fiesta Days. We nope. love it. And one of the things that we love is the food, right? Oh, yeah. Right. So, and Natasha's so pie is all ready to right? go. Here I know. Go. I made it myself mm -hmm. from the Okay, store. so if With you love. applied to be mm -hmm. in the pie contest, pie mm -hmm. baking contest, uh -huh. what kind of pie would you make to put in it? So I only make one pie, kind of. It's a prune pie. That's delish. Mm. So I would maybe do that. 
So mm. my grandma on the other side, my grandma Brown, she was famous for making such amazing pies, and I'm ashamed <laughs> that I. It's sad that it up. only takes a generation, and it, it does something's gone. Right. Oh. But I do remember fingers. like her rolling the crust, and I I did get to sample it with sugar and cinnamon. Oh yes, yeah. I remember oh. that. Oh, I love that. I love that. What would you make? I would make a buttermilk pie. It's the mm. only one I kind of know how to make, and my mother-in-law. And it's simple ingredients. It's like the texture, if you've ever had it from Maggleby's, it's almost like a custard, a really mm. set custard. Mm. And then you put fresh raspberries, just mash them up, little teeny bit of sugar, and then pour that over the top. So good. That's what I would do. What would you do, Stace? I think I would do apricot pie. We usually do apricot mm. pie for the holidays. Mm -hmm. mm. But I've never had one. Yeah, I love it. Is it good? My grandma made it too. Mm. So Double crust? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Mark taught us about that. Yeah, right. I know. My and how fun it. was it to have Todd and Lori in and talk about their tri tip? A thousand Yeah, they're of iconic, feet. I feel like. A thousand yeah. is That's a, a lot ton, of meat. Right? <laughs> and now they have a food truck. Yeah, crazy. Know, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. And the Pruitt family, I just love them, love and adore them. They're They've been fun. a part of my life for a long, long time. For a long time. time. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Super, okay. super so fun. we need to buy our tickets for Spongebob. Uh -huh. Absolutely. That's, yep. Yeah, I'm excited for that. There's some years that I just am wiped out by the end of Fiesta Day, so then I don't go. But I love how they go till the 27th. So it, right. they do offer extra days after Fiesta yeah. Days. And I think that's perfect for me. Is that time? I love the Saturday matinee after the fat. So just, yeah, somewhere in the afternoon to chill. The kids can still mm -hmm. stay awake and... Enjoy. Or, or the day mm -hmm. of the 24th, mm -hmm. a matinee to get out of the heat. True. Yeah. Yep. yep. Before your nap. Yep. Before <laughs> you go to the rodeo. Before the rodeo. And after the parade. Uh -huh. Yeah. In between. And before the food trucks. Oh, there's so much, but it's so fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's exciting. Well, yeah. and you're, go <laughs> you're going out of town. I'll be out of town, but I'll be back on the 22nd. Okay. On so, Monday. Uh huh. And no, where you I'll go? be back on Sunday. Where are you going? We're going to Oceanside. And we're that's where we normally go. We usually go to Laguna. This year we're trying something new. So we're staying in a condo kind of village. Mm -hmm. And every family just kind of chose their own. So I got three single units for the kids. So oh, but like how many fun. condos do you guys have if it's all the extended family? There all the extended like family, there's gobs. There's like, it's like a condo complex and then a mm. pool in the middle and activities and then it's on the beach. So you just take your oh wagon and gosh. walk down. It'll be a different experience for us, but Loads I think we've kind of, kinda, yeah, just ebbed out of the other place a little bit. Did, and you planned it to come back in time a little um, bit. Yes, I did. Yes, yeah, okay. I've just been asking, like, please can we just make sure that we return back for the 24th? Oh, I love it. So I will be here, and I have rodeo tickets. Good so, girl. Yeah, good. I'm excited. And yeah. you usually hit the Nephi rodeo. I usually go to the Stampede, the, yes, the week before. However, yeah, oh, I have two nights so in Spanish Fork, so I'm going to be really rodeoed out. Oh, you have two rodeo nights yep. in Spanish Fork yep. and, and then all of them. Uh, yeah, and then oh all my of them. Yep. Well, that's good because sometimes you haven't got your tickets for the Spanish Fork one. Right? So good. I am prepared. Good. Well, good this girl. will be fun. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see everyone well, there. I hope everyone has a fantastic Fiesta Day. Everyone mm -hmm. will be getting their magazines in the mail. Um, probably the week of the 4th of July. That'll be full of all the information, calendar events. The Grand Marshals, the Pioneer Like I said, go recipient. to one new thing this year. Yeah. Sometimes you can't hit it to everything, but try something new. Yeah. It's yeah. really kind of fun. Love it. Perfect. Okay. Hey. All right. Thanks for being here with us. We hope you've enjoyed the conversation. If you learned something new, please tell a friend about us.